something massive just leaked for the upcoming Madden game that's going to be out this summer. Now, I assume they're going to call it Madden 25, but the 25th anniversary about 10 years ago, which would have been called Madden 14, they named that Madden 25. So I wonder if they're going to call it Madden 25 again. No one really knows, but I assume that they will. But today we got a massive leak. And depending on the kind of player you are, you are going to be thrilled when you hear what I'm going to be telling you. And some other people might not care as much, but I know in my channel here, my audience, this is one of the things that they care about the most. So I'm super excited excited to make this video. This is probably the number one complaint overall I have seen over the past five years of doing Madden content on this channel. It's certainly in the top three, so I know people are going to be thrilled. Now, going into Madden 25, we know already that EA is going to be focusing on offline yet again, as they kind of have been doing with adding more stuff to franchise mode, and they've already said that they're going to be looking to build up superstar mode a lot in the coming years. But along with this is an area that's been lacking really big in Madden, and that's presentation. Now, I'm going to get more specific in a minute when I tell you what leaked today, but presentation includes a lot of things. You know, that's pregame, postgame, it's halftime shows. It's the little details in the game while you're on the field, on the sideline. It's announcers. It's a bunch of different things. And we know this is an area that Madden has been lacking a lot. And we've seen over the years that they're starting to do more in those areas that they neglected for so long. If you compare franchise mode right now to where it was four or five years ago, is it perfect? Is it everything that we want? No, but they've added a lot or brought a lot back to it over the past three to four versions of Madden with adding back mini camp and assistant coaches and skill trees and redoing free agency and scouting and all that that stuff. Now they're working to also build up the career mode with superstar mode and presentation is the next focus going forward. Now, one of the biggest things about presentation that has been complained about a lot over the last few years are the announcers. People are sick and tired of the same announce crew and it's not that anything is wrong, particularly with Charles Davis or Brandon Gordon. It's just that they've been doing it for eight years and it's gotten repetitive. Well, today we got an absolutely massive leak. Thanks to my guy, Jesse over on Twitter. I have to shout him out because he brought this to my attention I would have not known about this if he didn't hit me up about it but Charles Davis was actually on a Cleveland podcast today which is titled the ultimate Cleveland sports show and he dropped some information about the upcoming Madden game and I'm going to also dive a little deeper on this and tell you where they're probably going but what he said specifically was that going forward there's going to be multiple announced crews in Madden in fact here's the man himself we became those guys who would come in and do that and we this is our age year doing it now they're going to expand garrett i think you've i don't know if you've seen it heard it yet they're going to be multiple announced teams going forward that is so that gives you an opportunity to change up who you're listening to that's crazy i think at this point a lot of people would say if i hear davis's voice one more time i'm going to do something to get me in trouble <laughs> Now, this is massive news, and I'm going to break it down for you even further based on some other things that I know, because I think I have a kind of an idea of what EA is going to be doing with Madden 25. All up, stop right there. If you like money and you know sports, then you've got to be on Underdog Fantasy. Their pick'em game allows you to choose from a wide variety of player stats, and all you simply have to do is pick higher or lower, and if you know sports at all, this really isn't that hard, and if they hit, you win money. And the best part about Underdog Fantasy is if you sign up using my promo code RAY, R-A-Y, they're going to give you a free play at sign up and they're also going to double your first deposit up to $100. So at sign up, basically they will give you a random player that all he has to do is get a single yard. Usually it's a quarterback. Sometimes it could be a running back or a receiver, but it'll be a random player to get one yard. And if it hits, you win. For this upcoming Thursday night game, it's going to be Austin Eckler to get a single yard. And if you sign up after that and want to play this weekend, you'll get Lamar Jackson to get a single yard on Sunday and Jalen Hurts on Monday. And even if you sign up weeks or months after this video, there will always be a free play for you just like this when you sign up. Remember, sign up using code RAY to get the free plays and get the $100 deposit match. You just can't beat it. Now, when Charles Davis said that going forward, there would be multiple announced crews, obviously that is music to the ears of a lot of Madden players, whether you play franchise or you just kind of do play now. You want something that's a little bit different. And even Charles Davis himself said that he's heard the complaints. He knows that people are tired of just hearing the same announced crew. And he says he understands that we've been doing it for eight years. You know, obviously people want something a little fresh. It's not that you have to remove those guys, but just add more onto it so that people can choose which announced crews they want to hear, or it can be for specific games inside of franchise mode when you have primetime games, for example. Now, another thing that Charles Davis said as it pertains to why EA has stuck with him and Gordon so much over the years, and this is something I've spoken about on this channel as well, is that they're able to go in on Monday and Tuesdays and update the commentary throughout the year. So for example, if Dak Prescott's leading the MVP race, at a certain point, you'll start hearing them talk about that in Madden when you're playing with the Cowboys because they go in and they update the commentary so that they have stuff that's in line with what's currently going on. And he said when it came to guys like Jim Nance and Phil Sims, 
Sims, which were before them, he said those guys are like such bigger names and they have so much going on that they couldn't go in every week and update the commentary like him and Gordon could. And that was one of the reasons EA has stuck by them so much is because they're able to actually go in and do that. Plus for the longest time, we would come in on Monday after a Sunday game, Monday and Tuesday, and put new lines into the game that the player could access on Wednesday, Thursday. Wow. Jim, Phil, they're big time guys. They got a lot going on. I was just a minnow. I had nothing going on. Now, going forward, knowing that there's going to be more announcers is huge. It's one of the biggest requests for this game. And I've literally seen a ton of people say that they're not buying the game until they update the announcers. Because for people that play a lot of this game, if you're listening to those announcers at a certain point, it just gets repetitive and boring when it's been the same people for so many years. Now, in terms of which announce crews are they going to be adding? I mean, there's a ton of great announce teams. I think the biggest one that people would want would be Jim Nance and Tony Romo. Jim Nance, as we just talked about, is already familiar with this. He's worked with EA with Madden before. And Tony Romo, I feel like that'd be pretty easy for him. He's such just a natural announcer. That's who a lot of people would like to see. And then does this also mean that they're going to be bringing in things like CBS, Fox, and ESPN finally? We know they're going to be using ESPN with the college game that they're dropping this summer. So maybe they're going to start doing that with Madden as well with the announced teams. That would be ideal. I'm not going to assume they're going to do that in the first year of expanding the announcers, but it could be something they're going to do down the line, which a lot of people would love. Now, I think think some of the other ones that you'd like to see you know maybe Chris Collinsworth in the game I believe he's been on Madden before I want to say that he has so he's familiar with that also you've got Joe Buck and Troy Aikman would be pretty cool but I I'm honestly say I don't think that they would be one of the ones that's going to do this but the one that I think is most likely is probably Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet and here's why we already know through leaks that Kirk Herbstreet is pretty much confirmed to be in the college football game that EA is dropping this summer and he was a part of the college games in the past he's more than likely going to be one of the announcers for that game and we know presentation is going to be a big deal in that game as well it's already been said that ESPN is going to be in it college game day is going to be in it so if they're already going to be using Kirk Herbstreet for commentary in the college game they're probably going to use him for commentary in Madden as well because it just makes sense if you're already going to be working with him you can kind of double dip there since he is now an announcer with Amazon Prime for the NFL games that come on Thursday so you're going to be able to double dip if you're already working with them you can have him also recording lines for Madden it just makes sense and Al Michaels back in the day PS2 days he was an announcer in Madden as well so maybe you get him to revisit that and work with Madden again which would be cool they may even go as far as to do some sideline reporters that's something a lot of people have asked about we know that 2k does it if they're going to be expanding announce crews and giving you that freedom to choose the different announce teams or have them for primetime games maybe they're going to also go that extra step and include sideline reporters as well but I want to say Kirk Herbstreet for sure should be the one to look out for just based on the fact that he's already going to be working with EA. It just makes too much sense since he also now does commentary in the NFL. Now, speaking of that college game, we've been getting a ton of leaks and information about that lately as well. And you can check those out in this video right here on the screen.